And now just for grins, we'll speed up the LFO and I'll show you two different kinds of distortion. The first will be overdriving the input. Remember it's attenuated 50%, so we'll just turn that up and that sounds like this. As you can hear, the input overdriving totally blows out the resonance. Now I'm going to turn the frequency down a little bit to give uh, the distortion filter that's built in something to chew on, and we'll give a listen to that. Some much more squarey, buzzy sound than the very round and, and tubby sounding input overdrive. But let's give a listen to the distortion circuit here. We've got the attenuation on the input back to 50%. <laughs> You can see it really squares up the input signal and seems to cut the bass and cause a slight volume drop, although that may just be perception. Now let's combine that. We'll turn up the input volume and then we'll crank up that LFO again and see what happens. I'm not touching anything right now. I'm kind of unstable 
FM pattern you can hear in there is just coming out of the LFO going to the filter. It's a blasted micro LFO and a wired classic VCO providing the saw wave. The volume definitely comes back if you back off the distortion a little bit. I barely touched the rate knob there.